What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today and actually for the next like week or so, I'm in Shanghai in China. I'm still pretty jet lagged because I just got in last night from like a 15 hour flight from Atlanta. <clears throat> so that wasn't the best thing in the world, but I'm here now, so that's the most important thing. I'm super excited for my first time in China. Some of you guys might remember that I was just in Japan and the Philippines like less than a month ago. So I've been to Asia recently, but I've, I've never been out here, and so far it's been a pretty amazing country. I say so far, but I've only been here about eight hours, and I've been sleeping the entire eight hours. But when I woke up this morning, I noticed that there's a combination KFC Pizza Hut over there, which I don't think we have in the US, so already off to a great start. What's up guys, I'm at the Kicks Crew booth and Kicks Crew is an awesome place to get your sneakers. They're actually based in Hong Kong and they have a really great Instagram and website if you guys are looking for any sneakers in particular. But some of the coolest stuff they have is the Off-White Collection. And if you guys know me, you know that the Off-White Collection is one of my favorite sets of sneakers ever created. I love what Virgil does, but they have everything. Even the Euro exclusive Air Jordan 1s, which are absolutely nuts. I never was able to grab a pair of those in my size, but I'm still looking. You definitely have to check out their website and their Instagram. Like I said, they have everything. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of the three off-white Air Jordan 1s you like the best. Obviously for me, it's the Chicago's. I think those are by far my favorite. I actually think I like the uh, All Hallows Eve Blazers better than the OG ones, because I like the colors a little better. Because with the original 10 collection, all of it was white and black, whereas with the newer colors, you get some color variation, you get some really cool stuff going on, so I really dig that. One of the newest releases that they have is actually the Mars Yard Overshoes. And this is a shoe that I wasn't totally sure about. And it's actually been on some of my lists of shoes that I don't really like. But seeing it in person and seeing a lot of people actually cut the top off of it, which again, I didn't think I was going to like, really made me think that this shoe is something that has a lot of potential. And they have it. And I've never seen this box before, too. That's kind of crazy. It is a massive, massive box. I mean, the shoe itself is massive, too. Look at that. Guys, you have to check out Kicks Crew. They have everything. If you live in Hong Kong and you live near the Sneaker Street, that's where their store is located. If you don't live in Hong Kong, you can grab their stuff on their Instagram and on their website, which are both linked in the description below. So make sure to check them out. I really appreciate that they had me out. This is really cool to see all their stuff. And they did a really great job with the booth, too. I think it's awesome. So as you can see right now, I'm at the Bund, which apparently is this like a, it's a really nice view of new Shanghai. It is super smoggy or foggy as you guys can see, but I'm gonna try and come back when it's like a little bit less foggy and get some better shots of it because it's a beautiful area. But now on to U Garden, I think. some big rocks where I'm going. All right, the rock rate was like pretty big. Not huge, but big. Apparently there's an Anta store coming soon. Never seen one of those before. No shade towards Anta or Clay Thompson. A little bit towards Clay Thompson. So I have absolutely no idea what this is, but I've been seeing it everywhere, and uh, I'm gonna try it. This is straight up yogurt. I'm drinking yogurt. It's not bad, it's just yogurt. <laughs> I'm 
realize they have these in stock. It's a nice color, just not something that I really want. I'm not a huge LeBron fan, but surprising. Man, they got these guys too. I don't remember exactly which city this one's for. I think it's London or Paris. I actually really dig these. <laughs> I think these are so sick. Probably not gonna pick them up, but seriously, a nice looking shoe. I have never seen this collab before. This is a neighborhood Adidas Ultra Boost. This is so sick. I don't know, is this exclusive to uh, Asia? Maybe it's because I haven't come up with Adidas Ultra Boost in a while, but there's a lot of pairs here that I've never seen before, and some of them are really sick. <laughs> it's the morning of day. So, it's the morning of day three in Shanghai. I've got sneaker con later today. Um, I was up way too late last night because a friend of mine from college who actually lives in Beijing came down to visit uh, for the last two days, so we've been going out every night. Whoa, dude, so what is this? It's a black truffle and scallop and some cucumber No sauce. way. That's crazy. Caviar crab salad. Hi. Hold on. Anything, man. Uh, yeah, make some suggestions, man. So, uh, I feel great. 100%. Awesome. It's so much better to visit a place if you have someone to show you around because they know the place and they know the places that, you know, the websites and tour guides and things like that won't show you. So, uh, it was really cool to see. But for the last like three days, I've been eating soup dumplings nonstop and Chinese food nonstop. So I figured why not try some McDonald's from China because I think their menu is actually a little bit different. So I got some breakfast food. I think I ordered like a grilled chicken breakfast sandwich. Not 100% sure. Um, grilled chicken McMuffin is what it's called. But it looked like it had some sort of like spicy sauce on it. Oh man, it looks so much better in the picture. I was really excited for this and, and now I'm not. Ugh. Okay, let's try it. It's fine. I'm not gonna get it again. Which one do you like better? Honestly, I like these ones more. Yeah, me Honestly. too. But these are pretty dope too. And those are the friends and family? Yeah, yes sir. Yeah, these are gender release and these are like friends. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, thumb man. So I just got told I'm gonna to be doing a talk where they're gonna be cutting my hair and giving me a lineup, which is awesome because I really need a haircut. As you can tell, it's also really greasy, dude. I think it's the humidity, man. I don't understand it. I don't speak a lick of Chinese, but I know that everyone in here, we all got the same interest. We all got the same like common thing that brings us together, that brings us together. You're selling buy and low, selling high. Um, history behind vintage. The one and only Richie Lee. What up, man? Man, man the consistency on the channel been crazy yeah. from you. I appreciate you were grinding it, though. I remember Riverside, California. You had just bought the off-white UNCs for how much? 1800. 18. I don't know if I'd said that on the channel yet, but there you go. Oh, no, my bad, my bad. bad. I need it. it all paid off, man. You're killing it right now. Shout out Thanks, to you, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thanks you're so killing you it right now. Yeah. Today we're doing a probably like you know Chinese high beast uh, video. I don't know what to call Chinese it yet, but yeah. Comfort-wise, yeah, bro. This is a big difference. Like, this is boost on steroids. That's probably the best way to put it. I actually got an early look at the brand new off-white Nike Tiger Terra 5s. I'm really excited about this sneaker. I believe it's a women's exclusive, so uh, it's not gonna be in my size, unfortunately. But it's a pretty interesting sneaker and a pretty big departure from anything we've seen before. What do you think? Bro, 
I need these in my size yeah? like right now. As you probably remember, all the other off-white sneakers that have dropped from Nike have been from the 10 collection. And those sneakers are all previous Nike models. Although they have made Nike Kyger Terra 5s before, this is the first time they've done a collaboration on a shoe. And you might not even be too familiar with this sneaker. So I figured because I actually had the chance to check these guys out at SneakerCon, I would give you guys an early first look. Because this is a shoe that I don't know if I'll be able to grab. I don't know what the hype's going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be something that will sell out instantly or maybe it sits on shelves. Who knows? I'm assuming because it's an off-white sneaker, it probably will sell out very quickly. But uh, let's take a look at the sneaker and see what it's all about. So obviously the two colors I have here are the black, pink, and blue colorway and the white, gray, and green colorway. And the first thing you'll notice is it's got this crazy Terra outsole. And what's interesting about this is it's spiky. It's a Terra running sneaker or an outdoor trail running sneaker. I don't know exactly how these spikes will grip because they are very flexible, but it's an interesting look. And I'm also interested to see how the shoe looks when it's on foot and when someone's really putting pressure on it because these spikes they're really, really soft. Not only are these spikes interesting looking, but they're also dual color. On this particular colorway, you've got green on the bottom and black right next to the midsole. And on this colorway, you've got pink on the bottom and a more obvious blue closer to the midsole. Just above the spikes, you've also got this Nike Zoom midsole. It's like a harder EVA foam around the Zoom. And I'm assuming that the Zoom is probably in the heel and possibly in the forefoot. Because these aren't my size, I can't actually try them on and let you guys know. But hopefully it's comfortable on foot. I also can't tell you about sizing because again, this is a size six and I'm a size nine. Continuing up on the sneaker, you've got what looks to be mainly a canvas upper. On this colorway, obviously it's white and it seems to be semi-translucent. There's actually a foam layer underneath it so you can't see my finger when you stick my finger underneath the shoe. Just above the canvas upper, you've got what seems to be a pretty decent suede. It's not the most incredible suede I've ever seen on a sneaker before, but it's not bad. Obviously on the black pair, there isn't as much contrast with the dual materials because of course it's all black but you do have some contrast with the printed on Nike swoosh. On the lateral side of both of these shoes, the Nike swoosh is printed on. However, on the medial side, you actually have a stitched on metallic silver swoosh. Printed on top of the metallic swoosh on the medial side, you have that standard off-white Nike branding. It's that paragraph that you see on all the other off-white sneakers. And for me, it's one of my favorite details because it really makes this shoe feel like a prototype. Another interesting detail about this shoe is the lacing system. It looks like what seems to be almost a flywire lacing system, except I don't think it is. It just kind of looks like one. What's really interesting is that you you actually have a dual lacing system which is not something I expected and even saw online. On the top you've got these neon green rope laces and then underneath you've got these flat white laces. And of course being an off-white sneaker the flat white laces do have the shoelaces text printed onto the end of them. Same sort of situation on the black pair you've got black rope laces and then white flat laces. Inside the sneaker you've got a white sock liner on the black pair and actually also a white sock liner on the white pair. I think I like it better on the black pair because it adds some contrast which is always a good thing. The insole of both shoes comes in yellow which is another interesting touch because there isn't any other yellow on the sneaker. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got more suede accents with the Nike Air logo embroidered into it. And then on the toe of the sneaker, you've got these black plastic Nike swooshes with a trademark logo. Overall, these off-white Terra Kyger 5s, if that's if that's the name, I don't remember for sure, are a really great addition to the off-white lineup. And I'm pretty excited about seeing these in the wild and seeing how they do. I always like to try things that, you know, are different and things that I've, you know, never tried before in different countries. And this is definitely one of those things, and I'm not even sure exactly what it is, but I've got one. I'm going to bring one to Easy Busta. Um, I don't know what it is. Some sort of meat bun. Looks good, though. So, the trip is pretty much winding down at this point. This is the last day that I'll be here. And I wanted to unbox some of the stuff that I actually picked up on this trip because there's some pretty cool things I wanna show you guys. The first of which is this Herschel SneakerCon bag. This is something that they actually gave me because I came to the event. It's like kind of a cool memento from the trip because I believe it's a, it's a Staple collab. So Jeff Staple was here. He was actually at SneakerCon. That's what the uh, Staple Pigeon at the top of the SneakerCon logo is. Inside this bag, the first thing we've got is the SneakerCon Energy Monster, which is, I believe, a battery pack for my phone, which is perfect because I don't have one on this trip and I needed one. Also, there's like a concert going on outside. I don't know why. It just started when I started filming, which is 
like the most annoying thing ever. The SneakerCon staple jersey, which is really sick. Oh, nice. It looks like they also gave me the shorts too. I wasn't expecting that, that's sick. So these match with the jersey. Next we've got a SneakerCon shirt. Same sort of motif. Very nice. I like it a lot. SneakerCon masks. Easy Bust actually gave me one of his masks, so I've got that and these. Oh, this is a long sleeve. This is what I really wanted. This one's sick. This is the long sleeve SneakerCon tee. The SneakerCon dude kind of ripping through the back, which is pretty cool. And then finally, we've got the hoodie. This is a really sick hoodie because this one actually has the uh, staple pigeon and staple branding on the front of it with this cool like Shanghai themed print, which I think is awesome. And then on the back, you've got the same sort of logo or same sort of print. And then actually something else that I picked up was this like mini sneaker, which I saw at this one booth. It's like this mini pair of breads. And they had like every other Jordan. They had the 11s, um, but this was obviously my favorite shoe of all time. So I figured I had to get a pair of these. This is sick. It's like pretty highly detailed, which is impressive for like a, I guess an injection molded. Is it injection molded? I don't know what it is actually, but I think I bought it for 200 Chinese, which is $28 US, or $30 US. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but very excited about this. And then finally, I got a pair of Peak sneakers to unbox. And Peak is a brand that's obviously from China. And it's something that I don't believe is available in the United States, but it's a brand that is actually pretty surprisingly decent. Like they make some really good stuff, but I did grab a pair or they actually gave me a pair. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with them. So the cool thing about these shoes is that they actually have this really nice soft foam in the midsole. I think that's their main selling point behind this sneaker, that like crazy soft foam. And it's something that actually really took me by surprise. I was in their booth with uh, JC at one point and we were actually trying these shoes on and he was like, these are softer than Boost. Super soft underfoot and especially after walking around all day in Air Jordan 1s, like this felt amazing. Obviously this is the mostly white knit colorway. You've got this uh, sort of metallic blue in the heel which I think is really cool. You've got Peak Tai Chi on the back so maybe that's actually the name of the model. Maybe it's the Peak Tai Chi. Um, I'm not sure if that's the name of the model or if that's the name of the uh, cushion itself. But to be honest, I'm pretty impressed with this Chinese brand. Like it's something that I don't believe is available in the US. I know I've seen people like Nightwing review Peaks before. But Peaks a huge Chinese sportswear brand and they actually make some really good stuff. And this is a sneaker that I'm definitely going to try and run in, see how it feels. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like super soft cushions when I'm running, so it might not be for me. But for like everyday lifestyle, it's not a bad way to go. But genuinely really surprised by these, blown away by the comfort and aesthetically, they look pretty solid. I got this Nike store Shanghai shirt. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it says on it. I think it either says Nike or Shanghai or um, one of the two. It's probably Nike. But that's pretty much everything that I picked up other than like some gifts from my uh, fiance and things like that. But I'm actually thinking about going out and getting some soup dumplings right now because I'm starving and soup dumplings sound amazing even though I've had them like every single day, twice or three times a day <laughs> for the five days that I've been here. But um, they're so good. It's actually been a really great trip. I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, huge thank you, of course, to SneakerCon for having me out in Peak and everybody who was a, a sponsor of today's video. It's been a blast. I've been hanging out with some good people. You know, Yeezy Busta, Croatian style. Uh, I even got to meet like this super famous Taiwanese rapper named Nick The Real, who we actually got to spend a couple minutes with, which is really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the love that you guys show. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these travel vlogs and if you want to see more, because if you guys like seeing them, I'll start traveling more places. So uh, let me know, because I'm really enjoying doing these. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys when I get back to the US.